just down the hill from the Scantlin house, your your house, we're going to visit the salad garden that ah. I've built. It's at the base of the Getty Research Institute. I've been growing all kinds of salad greens and herbs and rare plants. How wonderful. And I even dedicated a patch of the garden to you. And <laughs> Thank you very much. It's filled with horseradish. That's the horseradish, of horseradish, course. Horseradish, which is your favorite plant <laughs> to grow. When I came to the Getty, we were walking around and looking for a site for the salad garden and they happened to show me the Scantlin house. And I, that was the moment where I was like, I have to find this architect and find out what the real story is. I think uh, Scantlin must have read something or seen a picture of what I had done. And he took me up here on this mountaintop. He says, uh, would you be interested in designing a home up here? I said, well, I can't tell you until I sit up here for at least 24 hours <laughs> and, uh, and see which, you know, where the sun comes up and sets and so forth. And there was nothing else up here? Nothing. Wow. Nothing but that sensational view. Yeah. So you, you told me that you used to put a gas mask on at a particular yes, moment. Yes, well, I have to do that. When you start to multiply it, uh -huh. you can't breathe hardly. Oh my god, it's hurting my eyes through the gas mask. Oh. Oh. Fresh air. Oh. <laughs> now I thought we'd make like a really basic horseradish dressing. So I'm going to add some of our fresh horseradish. I'd be very curious as to how you do this. Well, I'd be curious as to how you do it. Sounds like you have more experience with it than I do. So now we've got horseradish, creme fraiche, and fresh lemon juice. I'm just going to mix that up. Pretty good. I think you could use more horseradish. Good. And then I'm going to put the flowers on top because we didn't want them to get all wilted with the dressing. There you go. Thank you. And that's our salad. Wonderful. So did you ever get to sit out on this deck and, and eat no, with Mr. Scanlon? No, I have Scanlon? not. It's the first time? Yep. Oh, that looks so good. How do you think about your work differently now than you did then? Are there things that I you still have the basic principles, I guess you call them, designed to the elements, mm -hmm. the views, the wind, the sun, everything that, that is surrounding that environment and the people who are going to live within the house. Mm -hmm. I think they both go hand in hand. Mm. I'm quite amazed how it has all changed in my lifetime, whole areas didn't exist. They were bean fields. And what will it be like in another 100 years? In my lifetime, it's always improved. It's a whole new world. Bon appétit. Bon appétit.